Although technically the youngest town in the area, Burns Harbor actually has a long history of family and farm life. The area that is now Burns Harbor was called Baileytown, or Salt Creek. Swedish and German immigrants settled there in the mid-1800s as farmers or laborers in the area lumber industry. The community was sparsely populated across several miles, but by 1866, two one-room schoolhouses were built, Salt Creek and Baileytown. By the late 1800s, farming was one of the only options for area residents. Larger industries like brickyards established operations in other nearby towns, but the Burns Harbor area did not attract much early industry. By the 1920s, North Porter County was a tourist destination, with the dunes drawing thousands to the area each year. The Dunes Highway, now US-12, increased access to the dunes and drew businesses like restaurants and service stations to Baileytown. The highway quickly became too congested. The Dunes Relief Road, US-20, opened in 1932, giving the Burns Harbor area two major thoroughfares in addition to three flag stops along the South Shoreline. Residential growth has never been quick in western Westchester Township, but increased traffic led to development. In 1949, women from both Westchester and Portage Townships formed a home economics club called the Westport Community Club. Within a few years, the club had a building and the community was called Westport. In the late 1950s, several events affected life in North Porter County. Bethlehem Steel began buying land along Lake Michigan. NIPSCO announced its plans to build a generating station along the lake. And the Midwest Steel Division of National Steel began building a finishing mill on the lakefront. Many Hoosiers clamored for industrial development along Lake Michigan. For almost 30 years, attempts were made to develop a commercial harbor at Burns Ditch, but the financial investment did not seem worthwhile. However, once Bethlehem Steel began construction in 1962, the tides turned as there were now two steel mills that would have direct access to a harbor and port. After a long battle over environmental concerns, a compromise was reached in which the Port of Indiana would be built to promote industry and economic growth, and the Indiana Dunes National Lakeshore would be established to save many dunes from further industrial expansion. With construction of Bethlehem Steel, both Porter and Portage considered annexing Westport, but Westport residents voted against annexation several times. By 1966, it was apparent that the community would have to incorporate in order to avoid annexation. The proposed town was renamed Burns Harbor because there was already a town called Westport in Indiana. In a surprise move in June 1967, Portage passed an ordinance to annex part of the proposed town of Burns Harbor. The courts later deemed that move illegal, and county commissioners officially established the town of Burns Harbor on September 9, 1967. Today, Burns Harbor is a center for industry and family. Although the community has changed from one of immigrant farmers, it is still a small, close-knit town that encourages an appreciation for its past while keeping an eye ahead to the future. <laughs>